G'day yeah, guys, welcome back to the UK YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing a video that a lot of people have done in the community, in particular Kalos, Ryder, Kari, um, I think Kari was pretty much the uh, original inventor of it, um, but today we are going to be redesigning some AFL Guernseys. Now, if you've watched me for a while, you might be able to tell I'm not the best at, you know, thumbnail designs or graphic design, but I've found a way to, um, I think I've made some pretty good jumpers, so yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, first off, starting in alphabetical order, we are going to start with the Adelaide Crows. This Crows one's, um, it's nice, it, it, it is nice, I, I do like it, I do like it. Um, I've got, obviously, the, um, the two gold and one red stripe in the background, and off Google, I've found a little, um, I've found a crow image, and I cut that out, and, um, I put it on there, and a bit of a diagonal shape to go with the lines, um, it's an all navy blue kit, and I think it looks pretty clean. Next up, I reckon this is one of my favourite ones out of all of them, I love this one, this is the Brisbane Lions. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, Guernsey Ring Design videos uh, that people have done, they've used this sort of lion. I've continued that tradition and I really, really like this. I've actually got the, um, I've got the horizontal tri-panels, so, yeah, but they're like very, very big tri-panels. So, up the top you've got the, um, maroon, and in the middle you've got the, uh, gold, that light gold that they use on their logo, and at the bottom you've got the blue, but with the lion, on the, on the um, gold background, on the foreground, I've made it half maroon and half blue, and I reckon it looks really, really uh, clean, as well as a few white lines to separate the colours. Next up, <laughs> this is a big out there, yeah, it's Carlton. Now, for some reason, when I was thinking about doing this video, I thought about Carlton, and I thought, I reckon orange and purple would go well together. So I've jumped on. I've tried to redesign this, an orange and purple gradient, I've added this little um, effect on the Carlton logo, I've also given it a drop shadow, and I reckon it looks really, really slick, and for some reason, I could maybe see the blues wearing this as like a special promo jumper, like I know, I quite like it. Next up, um, it's Collingwood. Now for the pies, uh, I, I really couldn't find... Uh, uh, think of anything inventive um that white line looks really tacky it's just gone through the collar up there unfortunately so that's my bad but um yeah uh, i've just gone it's pretty much the same logo except i've just made an all black guernsey with a big white line down the middle so yeah it's probably the worst one i've made if i'm being honest next up i'm not sure how i uh, stand on this one because essendon so for this essendon one i've um on the uh, app I use, PixelArt, there's this little uh, pen feature that gives it a, like a little trail. So I decided to put a little sash down there, a red sash, and diagonally I found this bomber picture online that they use in their logo. And I've made that a bit diagonal. Um, it's not my favourite, it's not my least favourite, I reckon it looks alright. Next up, it's my team, it's the Freo Dockers. This Dockers one, I don't see them wearing it, but uh, visually online, it actually looks quite cool, I reckon. I've got the darker purple, and then it doesn't really go to a lighter purple, it just straight up goes to like this, these white flashing lights up the top. And uh, yeah, I've got the um, I've got the little diagonal uh, anchor in the middle, um, load the opacity on that so it's a little more subtle, and I reckon it looks quite good. Next up is the Caggers. probably one of my least favourite ones. Um, I tried to switch it up and I think I like the concept that I was going for, but uh, it looks a bit strange. I've gone half white, half blue, but then with the John Cat I've put in the middle, I've tried to also inverse those colours. Um, I think it looks alright on the um, white side, but on the uh, dark blue side it looks a bit strange. And uh, yeah, also, I'm, I'm going to be a little picky. That Kong on logo, I had to make it red because there was no other colour that would work. So um, yeah, I think that also doesn't look amazing. I'm really starting to like these uh, gradient ones with the little drop shadows. You can see I've added a small drop shadow to that Gold Coast one, and now I've added, I, I think Gold Coast should use more of their gold kits, and I've added a gold kit with some red and some white on the background, and I reckon it looks super clean. I could definitely see them using this as their regular home guns. I think this is better than their normal home guns at the moment. <laughs> now, next up, this is probably the most controversial of the lot. <laughs> it's the GWS Giants.
Holy mother of law, what have I done here? No, it is not a glitch on your YouTube screen. I have just made a neon green and yellow GWS Guernsey. Um, it's a bit exuberant, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what they could use this for. I, I, I feel like they could use it, but I'm not sure how. Um, I've just decided, you know what, GWS Guernseys, uh, you kind of have to use the G, it's kind of a staple on GWS Guernseys, so I'm going to like scrap their colours out the window, neon green and yellow, for some reason I think it looks alright. Now first of all, I've added the, the little touch, I've added the, the golden AFL logo, I've added the Premier's AFL logo, you know, signify them. Now I've got the uh, royal blue to red to white gradient, with the old demon with the lower opacity in the background. I could definitely see them using this as a clash. I reckon this looks super, super clean. Now, yeah, I love this one. Now, I think, like most other people, I love the retro kangaroo, and I decided I had to incorporate it in this one. I've, most of it is white, with the uh, lower half being blue with that white kangaroo, which is really bold, that really bold blue. And then... In light opacity, I've added NMFC in the white, you know, give it that little extra, which I think looks really nice. And, um, yeah, I've also added, like, with, with, with the uh, separation, I've added it a bit circular to, you know, make it fit in more, more than just a half. So, yeah, I like it. Next up is the most controversial of the lot, even probably more controversial than the GWS one. It is, um, it's Hawthorne. Now, this Hawthorne... Now this Hawks one is probably my least favourite out of all of them, if I'm being honest. I, think, I hate this Hawks one, but I'm, I'm just going to be honest, I tried to experiment something and it's it, it could have looked a lot worse. So instead of putting the sponsor in the top right, like an NBA or soccer shirt, I put the uh, sponsor big in the middle in Tasmania, and then I put the Hawthorne logo up with the AFL and the Agas logo is. It does look amazing, and now I need to think of a pattern to put in the background. So I put thin golden stripes with a mainly brown jersey. I don't like it that much, but I do think Hawthorne should bring back the brown Guernseys they wore a few years ago. Moving on now is, um, it's Port Adelaide. Now this power on, I absolutely love the concept I've gone for here. I've, um, added the Port logo, the sponsor just in underneath, and I've added the big power bolt with the upper being teal and the lower being black and white. But my execution of it is absolutely atrocious. You can see the little tugging out on the side. It looks quite bad. And uh, yeah, I like the idea that I've had, but uh, it, uh, I've executed it terribly. If you get professional games designer to do that, I reckon that would look really good. This is also probably one of my least favorites. We've got St Kilda. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Kill was one of the first ones I made here while redesigning the Guernseys, and I had no idea what to do. So I've made the top red, black, white. Looks okay, it doesn't look amazing. And I've added this St. Kilga logo under the delivery, but I've made it like blending with the red. And then also at the bottom of the red, I've added St. Kilga FC, really, really subtle. Yeah, it's probably one of my least favourites, this one. <laughs> well, I think this looks superb. Um, I think the Nike logo in the apparel partner looks so, so slick. Now I've added the Sydney Swan from their current logo, like what Richmond used to do in their pre-season Guernseys. And now I've also added a white Sydney Harbour Bridge in the background that I found online. I think this looks super, super cool. And I think I can see them using this as their current home Guernsey. And also, just a little extra, I decided to make an inverse version that they can use as their clash. How good does that look? I reckon that looks so elite, and I could definitely see the Swans using this. It's a bit strange, this one. It's um very neon yellow with a royal blue little bit in the back, uh, in the um, middle. And then you've, I've added this, like, cinematic effect to the West Coast logo, which I think looks alright, if I'm being honest. I think it does look alright. And um, yeah, I, I don't mind it. I could, I could maybe see the Eagles using this as a clash. And last but not least, it's one of my favourites, it is the Western Bulldogs. I think this looks what well, I think this one, sorry, looks really, really clean. I've added the um 
the darker red that's on their logo in the top half. And in the lower half, I've added um, the white in the middle of the blue with the cutoff logo. But in the white, I've added established 1877. That little historic you know, reminder that when the club was established, and I think it looks really, really good and something the dogs would wear. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. I would love to redesign some more games. If you would also like to see it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Have a good day and see you later. Oh,